Hello, and welcome back to the 439th episode of Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. That means there are 438 other quizzes that you can go back and watch right now if this is your first time seeing this channel. Thank you for watching today. The category will be Inventors and Their Inventions. This is a 21-question trivia quiz. Good luck. Question number one. During the rubber shortage of World War II, engineer James Wright attempted to create an alternative by mixing boric acid with silicone oil. While it wasn't effective for industrial use, eventually it was packaged and marketed successfully as what popular toy? That toy was Silly Putty. Question number two. Invented by Stephanie Kwolek through her research with the DuPont Company, what did she patent in 1966 that is used in the production of bulletproof vests, underwater cables, brake linings, space vehicles, and many other items? She was famous for patenting Kevlar. Question number three. On May 15, 1809, what Connecticut native received the first U.S. patent issued to a woman for inventing a process of weaving straw with silk or thread that greatly boosted the nation's hat industry? This is a tough one, but it's important. Mary Dixon Keese. Question number four. Still a common name in the industry today, in 1902, what was the last name of the man that designed the first modern air conditioning system, launching an industry that would fundamentally improve the way we live? The answer is Carrier, or Willis Haviland Carrier. Question number five. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan dedicated what day, also Thomas Edison's birthday, to the creative and resourceful individuals who make up the pool of America's inventors and called it National Inventors Day. Thomas Edison's birthday and National Inventors Day are on February 11th. Question number six. What is the name of the British rock music group that chose to name their band after the English agriculturist credited with inventing the seed drill? The band and the agriculturist are named Jethro Tull. Question number seven. To the overwhelming relief of women everywhere, what mother's aid did Marion Donovan invent in the late 1940s and receive a patent for in 1951? The answer is disposable diapers. Question number eight. What was the last name of the French acrobat who invented the flying trapeze, as well as invented, or at least popularized, the unisex skin-tight one-piece garment that covers the body from the crotch to the shoulder? His name was Leotard. Question number nine. 
What man is famous for having designed and built the first printing press to incorporate movable type and mechanized inking, and for using that invention to produce a Bible with his namesake? The answer is Johannes Gutenberg. Question number 10. Born on July 17, 1920, Niles Bolin, a Swedish Volvo employee, invented what part of the modern car, considered one of the most important innovations in automobile safety, and made his way into the Automotive Hall of Fame? Niles Bolin invented the modern seatbelt. Question number 11. Although there are questions about who actually invented it first, what essential piece of office equipment did Norwegian inventor Johan Valar patent in 1900? In 1900, Johan Valar patented the paperclip. Question number 12. What is the name of the English mapmaker who invented the jigsaw puzzle in 1767 by attaching a map of the world to a piece of wood, then cutting out each country using a fine bladed marquetry knife? His name is John Spilsbury. Question number 13. Transforming the agriculture industry in the South, what man invented the cotton gin in 1794 to separate seeds, holes, and other unwanted materials from cotton after it had been picked? Eli Whitney invented the cotton gin. Question number 14. Different than just the internet in general, in March of 1989, what man laid out his vision for what would become the World Wide Web in a document called Information Management, a Proposal? The man credited with creating the World Wide Web is Tim Berners-Lee. Question 15. What was the last name of the British inventor and industrial designer who revolutionized vacuum cleaning with the invention of the dual cyclone, the first bagless vacuum cleaner? The dual cyclone is a Dyson vacuum cleaner. James Dyson was his name. Question number 16. An early Hollywood starlet with film credits such as Algiers and Boomtown, what inventor made significant contributions to radio and technology systems and whose research has been used to develop modern Wi-Fi and Bluetooth? Her name was Hedy Lamar. Question 17. What was the name of the professor of physics of Würzburg, Bavaria that discovered x-rays in 1895 accidentally while testing whether cathode rays could pass through glass? His name was Wilhelm Röntgen. Question 18. 
who was the head of the Los Alamos Laboratory, and on July 16, 1945, after the first successful detonation, became known as the father of the atomic bomb. The answer is Robert Oppenheimer. Question number 19. In 1787, John Fitch demonstrated a working model of the steamboat concept on the Delaware River, but it wasn't until two decades later that what man created the first truly successful steamboat called the Clermont? His name was John Fulton. Finally, question number 20. Although much of his work was stolen by other inventors, what man is recognized for inventing fluorescent lighting as well as developing the alternating current electrical supply system and three-phase electricity? The answer is Nikola Tesla. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trippia. Later this week, I'm going to be releasing the details to the competition to win all the money that I made as a monetized YouTuber in February of this year. This was my first month of being monetized. It was only like 170 bucks. But, because you guys are the ones that have to watch the ads, I'm going to give the money away to one of you. Uh, rules for this competition will come out later this week. I hope everybody participates, or at least a good number. It's going to be a blast. We've got great quizzes coming up for the competition next month. So in April, we'll be doing a month-long competition. Anybody can win the money that I made. I'll PayPal it to you, Venmo it to you, however I got to get it to you. I think it'll be really fun. I think it'll be a great time. Stick around for it. Stick around tomorrow for the next new quiz around noon Central Standard Time. Here is question 21, today's tiebreaker question. Question 21. The unit of electromotive force was derived from his name and coined in 1881. What man came up with the first true battery and was able to store and produce a continuous steady current of electricity as well as retain most of its power even when not in use over time? That's a long question. Short way to ask it would be who invented the first good battery? The answer is Alessandro Volta. And the unit of electromotive force is a volt. So that came from Volta's name, Alessandro Volta. Thank you for watching today. Have a good evening.